G'day everyone, welcome to a brand new season of bushcraft and camping adventures and with a brand new season comes a brand new shelter and that's what I'm doing today, I'm starting a brand new shelter build super pumped about it, I hope you join me and I hope you enjoy this new season here we go Alright, so let's just have a little chat about what I'm doing here. So as you can see, I've got the frame on. Now I'm going to build walls up the side here and reinforce those, which is going to help the lateral movement, which is pretty down pat anyway, because I'm not putting a lot of weight on the roof anyway. Um, so the roof will slope down to the back. I've got a slight sloping forward on that. I'll be honest, it would have been better to have sloped it back. I don't care. Um, so we don't get pulling in the middle when it rains. Although I suspect I'm going to have to... Oh no, you only need a slight gradient. Um, so we won't get pulling when it rains and the water will run off down the back. Now I've got a tarp that I've bought just for the job and, and I hope it's long enough to reach down the back. Otherwise I'm just going to have to have an open front, whatever. So I'm just going to tarp the roof off, build the walls up to reinforce and then I'm going to put a bushcraft bed in right here. I'm going to run a ridge line across to attach a mosquito net and then on this side I'll be building some kind of shelf or desk or something that I can rest my gear on and just have a little bit of a uh, homely feel inside here so obviously once it's all done I'll clean the floor out I'll probably backfill under that log because it's kind of you know a bit snaky uh, but otherwise that's what's happening so right now you guys know me I don't do brand names it's a tarp it's brown and it's three by four and it was cheap so I'm not going to put a good tarp a good $300 tarp up here and depending on the camera being used right now you may have a mosquito walking across the lens gotta love summertime in Australia now I've beveled all the edges here so nothing's gonna scratch or tear the tarp One of the best feelings in the world is building a shelter that you can stand up in. Um, you know how I know this? Because this is the first shelter I've built that I can stand up in. But I'm loving it. It feels really nice inside. It feels cozy. I can't wait to build the bed. And then the walls will go up. And then this is very good. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I mean, look, let's just address it. Obviously, this is not necessarily safe. But that is why I will be sleeping with a mosquito net 
so that any creepy crawlies that come in will have to at least battle their way in to get to me. Flies like this tree. There's a reason why I chose this site. I'm gonna be honest, it's not the most remote. It's not like it's close to home or anything like that. But it does boast one feature, which I am terribly keen on. And I'm not gonna use it today per se, but I will show you what we got. Let me get there. Okay, it's really easy to find as well because there's a lot of these trees that are all broken. So from my base, it's like it's not a hard find. Just keep following the broken trees. But as we come down here, those who don't watch my Yowie channel might not know it. Check this out. We have our own little waterfall. Take it down for a closer look. Now, the water level has dropped. Last time I was here, it was significantly higher. Uh, but I'm just gonna rinse off in here today. Just freshen the face, rinse the arms. Um, you know, just freshen up. But going for a swim in there is like going for a swim in an ice bath. And there's obviously pros and cons of that. Pro, you feel amazing when you get out. Con, it's piss cold. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna freshen up in here for a, while, for a minute or two. And then head back, sit down and relax and uh, see what today's gonna bring. But that is priceless. Back to base camp. So those logs there will basically be the foundation upon which I rest those, stake them in, get them nice and high and get me off the ground. The bed foundation is going to be stronger than the actual structure. Foundations are done. Clear out the under under area. Clear out clear out the floor. And then we'll be ready to lay the bed and tie it down.
or secure it into position. Most people prefer the slat going this way. I know that's more structurally sound, but I like it this way because you can get like a bit of a curve with your back. That's what it's like. All right, let's give it a rack. Give it a rack, give it a crack. Long one's giving me problems in his pop, but apart from that, it's a lie down. Happy. Happy. I gotta be honest, this is as close to perfect as it gets. The shelter's gone to plan. Not a single misstep or stuff up or anything at all. The bed has worked perfectly. It's perfectly comfortable. I just gotta stake it in so that the pieces don't roll out, that's it. There's a breeze blowing that's just, man, it's like, it's like the perfect breeze. If you could put a label on the perfect breeze, it's present, it's cool, it's not too much, it's just right. The sun's out, everything's crisp because we had a little bit of rain before. There's materials aplenty. I mean, I'm not running out here for a while, that's another reason I picked this spot. This log was another reason I picked this spot. Now, the next thing to happen is going to be pretty magical because I'm going to stake these in. I'm going to rig up. That's my universal sign for ridge line. I'm just enjoying the moment for now. Unfortunately, there must be some camping area more nearby than I realized. Or someone's just got really loud music because I can hear some music in the background. But you know what? It's almost... It's almost part of the magic here now. I'm so used to it, it doesn't even bother me. Every time I'm in this part of the world, there's always someone playing music somewhere off in the mountains. The shape of the mountains carries the sound. It just bounces around. So I'm in cray camping heaven right now. This is just perfect. Had a bit of a rest, let's clear the floor, stake this in, and I'll hit you back up when that's uh, all said and done. shelter looking great I apologize for that music wherever the hell it's coming from it's kind of taking away the ambiance but you'll all live now I'm gonna have another break and then I'm gonna to toss up whether I build a little shelf right now there's an idea concocting in my mind and that is that I'm only gonna cover the wall this wall right here I'm gonna leave these walls and the front area open because I always have this thing in my head when we build shelters, we kind of really do a good job of making sure we can't see anything. 
Now, I'm not going to get it mosquito tight. That's not going to happen. Mosquitoes are going to get in, hence the ridge line. So why not have the whole slide open? So this is what I'll see. So here will be a wall. And all this will be open. Put a little shelf there. Or maybe closer to here. But here, I'm thinking could be where I put the fire. Who knows what becomes of this little corner. I've never had in any way, shape or form a protected or proper fireplace. Now, I'm not going to do the whole... Um, stone wall with a fireplace built in because there's just not enough stones around here but I might still be able to do something a little bit fancy we'll see what happens but if I stretch my legs out it's perfect that's the thing it's just the perfect spot so it's a nice little view I'm digging my shelter very much All right, there's a couple of, uh, no, there's like an hour of light left. I'm gonna start the fire because I'm getting hungry. Now I've stumbled across a couple of different types of sap today that I'm gonna use just to... The hell was just there? A whole tree just bowed over. Ah, oh, never mind, it was a bird. Okay, yeah, so as I was saying, I've stumbled across a whole bunch of different saps today. One from a pine tree and one from a eucalypt, a red sap and a standard pine sap. There's the red sap that I found that I just collected on some leaves. So that'll, that'll burn bright. And here's some pine sap that's just kind of adhering to the bark there, and I'll show that in the fire as well. Okay, so I'm also going to be using char cloth that I made and didn't quite char enough, but that's alright. And then I'll be uh, getting the ember from that and blowing it up in that bird's nest. So it's all sorts of fire fun. What a day, huh? Successful day. Good build. I've decided that I'm not going to do anything else on it for today. I've earned a bit of a relaxation, so I'm going to take it. Um, obviously, I could, I've could. i bludged three or four um, light hours today. So if I really wanted to put pedal to the metal, I probably could have got either a little bit of the wall done, maybe a good chunk of the wall done and or maybe the shelf the shelf table let's call it the table the table i am wanting to make it movable so i don't want it to you know spike into the ground so to speak um, maybe the old tripod table might be an easy way to do it it'll be uh, structurally sound um, but not really good for putting my bag on and i want something i can put my bag on but i really like it it's a good shelter it's a good start my mind is boggling with all these different ideas I can do for it. 
So that's exciting too. It's nice to have that feeling again. The last shelter I built was just a struggle from the get-go. It never really, I never had a productive day with it. It always just took forever to do everything and just never felt right. This feels right. It's exciting to have a good base camp with a waterfall. This is the general area that you hang out in. But over in the shelter, I could have a little clay oven for something different with a little grill on it or something, like a permanent cooking feet fixture. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I love thinking about things I can do to a shelter. It's just, I don't know what it is. It's really exciting. I love it. A sandwich for dinner and a juicy, tasty, delicious one at that. Bring it on. Always eat with clean hands, look at that. It's like a halloumi like Big Mac. What's outstanding? Mwah. Well, it's getting to the night time now. Dinner was delicious, got the fire roaring. Tomorrow morning I'm gonna wake up and maybe work on the shelter. So I will see you guys all tomorrow morning. Have a good sleep. Because I'm going to have a good sleep, so you have a good sleep too. Good night. All right, good morning, everybody. And we're straight, straight into work to start the day today. Um, I need something to weigh down and anchor down the points where they meet the ground. Because uh, otherwise, as soon as a decent wind hits with a bit of rain, they're going to pop straight out. So what I'm doing is I've got a decent, a decent weighted size log that I picked up off the floor, uh, not rotted at all. So, you know, I barely had to chop down a tree. I put was able to push over most of the trees um, that I got. And I've barely used my soil um, as far as harvesting stuff goes it's been great so much things lying around that are just not rotted at all so let's get on to that to start with the day Okay, I just did something I didn't think it would work, so I didn't record it. It's not a big deal, but I think it's pretty cool. So if you have a look, I've got a pine tree here. I just put a bit of a hack into it with Max, cleared off the bark, then created a recess, being held into place with that piece of bark. And the plan is, when I get here next time, I'll be able to remove this piece, and with it, a whole bunch of sap that I can use for whatever I want. So that's an idea. Let's see how that goes.
good shelter, man. I'm really happy with it. It's just, it feels really cozy. And that's sometimes hard to get in a bushcraft shelter, but this feels really cozy and I'm really happy with it. Some tarp work still to do, obviously some wall still to do, some furniture still to do, obviously chose to do the wall today. I mean, this morning, instead of building a shelf or anything, I need to put some thought into that and think how I'm actually gonna do it. The bed's good, it's happy days. Storms will pass through and I'm interested to see if we get pulling in the roof and if the tarp stays secure. It's a few bits and bobs that'll probably pop off but we'll address that when we get back here next time. And until next time, this was the start of the new season, the 2023 season of Bushcraft and the Camping Adventures. I hope it lived up to expectation, if there was any expectation. And I will uh, catch you later. It's a good start to the season. I've already got a more functional shelter than the whole of last year. Good stuff. All right. Take it easy, guys. See you next time. Bye for now.